Valletta is a city of great distinction, boasting a storied past. Situated on one of Europe's most magnificent harbors and surrounded by formidable fortifications, this UNESCO-listed capital of Malta proudly overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. The city's history is intertwined with the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem, a medieval order that provided sanctuary to pilgrims in the Holy Land and assumed a military role in defense of Christianity. In 1530, King Charles IV of Spain bestowed Malta upon the Knights. Once Valletta became the new stronghold for the Order of St. John, the Knights endeavored to create a capital city that rivaled the finest in Europe. The opulent Baroque architecture reflects the Knights' esteemed status as members of noble families from England, France, Spain, and other European nations. Valletta is often referred to as a city constructed by gentlemen for gentlemen. Today, Valletta remains a bustling city with a vibrant tourism industry. Visitors will be captivated by the wealth of historical landmarks and rich cultural offerings. Discover the top tourist attractions and activities to do in Valletta by exploring our comprehensive guide to this captivating city. Number seven, Grand Master's Palace and Armory. The Grand Master's Palace showcases the magnificent architecture of a significant cultural landmark. Located in the heart of Palace Square, this Baroque palace was constructed in the 16th century as a residence for the Knights of Malta. Presently, the palace serves as a venue for official state ceremonies. Part of the structure functions as the office of the President of Malta and the House of Representatives, while the remainder is accessible to the public as a museum. Access to the building is granted through a graceful courtyard garden, leading visitors to grand hallways adorned with opulent 18th century frescoes. The expansive palace staterooms are lavishly embellished with gilded moldings and exquisite artworks. A prominent feature is a series of murals that portray a comprehensive narrative of the Great Siege of 1565. The Hall of the Ambassadors, also known as the Red Room, is adorned with portraits of the grandmasters who led the knights to victory. One notable painting portrays the distinguished grandmaster Jean de Vallette, the founder of the city of Valletta. Number 6. St. John's Co Cathedral showcases the prosperity and triumph of the Knights of Malta. These knights played a crucial role in defending Europe from the Ottoman Turks during the 16th century. This grand cathedral was constructed as a symbol of Christian victory. The main hall of the cathedral is a prime example of lavish Baroque design, adorned with lavishly gilded walls and ceiling paintings created by Mattia Preti, a renowned painter from Malta. One of the most celebrated artworks within the church is Caravaggio's depiction of the beheading of St. John the Baptist, located in the oratory. Each of the chapels in St. John's Co Cathedral represents a different region, known as a Lange, from which the Knights of Malta originated. These knights hailed from various European countries. Among the eight chapels, there are a few notable highlights worth visiting. The Chapel of the Lange of Aragon, which represents Catalonia and Navarre in Spain, features Mattia Preti's painting of St. George on a white stallion, triumphantly slaying a dragon. In the Chapel of the Lang of Italy, visitors can admire Caravaggio's famous artwork depicting St. Jerome riding. Number five, Manuel Theater. One of the oldest theaters in Europe, the stunning little theater was commissioned in 1731 by Antonio Manuel de Villena, who served as the Grand Master of the Knights of Malta. With such a distinguished lineage, the Manoel Theatre is considered one of the oldest theatres in Europe. The auditorium, adorned with lavish decorations, showcases gilded box seats and luxurious velvet chairs. Each seat in the theatre provides a great view, and the oval-shaped room boasts excellent acoustics. To experience the theatre, you can participate in a guided tour. These tours are available multiple times a day, from Monday to Saturday. Throughout the year, the Manuel Theater hosts various performances, including music concerts and classical operas. To fully enjoy an evening performance in this sensational historic venue, it is recommended to book your tickets in advance. In January, the Manuel Theater holds a two-week Baroque festival that features the music of renowned composers such as Vivaldi and Bach. Number four, cruise around the Grand Harbor. 
Valletta's strategic positioning on the Grand Harbor played a crucial role in its military triumphs. By closing off its entrance, the port effectively kept invaders at bay while accommodating battleships. The entire harbor is encircled by imposing fortifications, bastions, and defensive towers. The Great Siege of 1565, a historic event in Malta's history, unfolded within this formidable setting. Under the leadership of Grandmaster Jean de Vallette, the knights valiantly repelled the Ottoman Turk invaders. Today, the Grand Harbor continues to welcome large commercial ships, ocean liners, and cruise ships. Resembling a fork with multiple prongs, the harbor branches out into smaller creeks featuring yacht marinas and boat docks. With its vast number of docks, Valletta's Grand Harbor stands as one of the world's largest marinas. Number three, Upper Baraka Gardens and Military Ceremonies. The beautiful Upper Baraka Gardens encompass a portion of the ancient fortifications in Valletta, situated on the highest point of the city. These tranquil gardens, shaded by trees, showcase fountains, flower beds, rows of arches, and statues depicting notable historical figures such as Winston Churchill. Various vantage points throughout the gardens offer different perspectives. Take a leisurely stroll to discover breathtaking views of the Grand Harbor, with glimpses of the towns of Vittoriosa, Cospicua, and Calcara. Below the gardens lies the saluting battery, once a bastion and now adorned with military cannons. This area is now utilized for outdoor weddings and ceremonial occasions. Every day at noon, a traditional gun salute ceremony takes place at the saluting battery. Members of the Malta Heritage Society don authentic British artillery uniforms and perform this ceremony, which includes firing the cannons. Number two, National Museum of Archaeology, the former Auberge de Provence, which was the historic residence of the Knights from the Provence region in France, now houses the National Museum of Archaeology. This architectural gem, dating back to 1571, showcases exquisite examples of Baroque design. Notably, the Grand Salon stands out with its beautifully painted walls and ceiling adorned with wooden beams. The museum's remarkable collection of archaeological artifacts presents a chronological narrative that tells the story of Malta. Among the exhibits are prehistoric objects and architectural elements discovered at megalithic sites, as well as ancient Roman artifacts and medieval antiquities. One of the museum's main attractions is its prehistoric collection, which features an extensive array of artifacts from the megalithic temples found on the Maltese islands. These Neolithic era discoveries include pottery, ornaments, altars, limestone statuettes, terracotta bowls, and cult utensils that are between 6,000 and 7,000 years old. Notable highlights include the Venus of Malta statue and other fat statues from the Hagar Kim temples. Number one, Casa Roca Piccola. Experience the splendor of a 16th century aristocratic palace that has been passed down through generations. Casa Roca Piccola, the ancestral home of the current owners, the ninth Marquis and Marchioness de Piro, Nicholas and Francis de Piro, opens its doors to the public for guided tours. Built for Don Pietro La Roca, a distinguished knight of Malta, this remarkable palace showcases its elegant interior during the guided tour. Explore two exquisite dining rooms, a luxurious bedroom, opulent salons, and a charming family chapel. Admire a meticulously crafted family tree that traces their noble lineage across multiple generations. Every room is adorned with precious 16th century furniture, stunning Murano glass chandeliers imported from Venice, and exquisite crystal chandeliers from Bohemia. The Sala Grande boasts a unique feature, a portable chapel housed within a black lacquer cabinet designed for personal devotion. Embark on this captivating journey through time and immerse yourself in the grandeur of Casa Roca Piccola. The palace showcases a delightful courtyard garden, a characteristic feature of Mediterranean architectural style. Additionally, nestled within the premises is a welcoming restaurant called La Giara, where guests can savor the flavors of authentic regional Sicilian cuisine. The restaurant is open for both lunch and dinner.